Hey everybody, Caleb with Almond Landscape. Wait, you have to start here. with a joke. What? You have to start with a joke. Man, I had a good one earlier. Gosh. Darn. This is Caleb with Almond Landscape and Brittany. Me. Behind the camera. And in this <laughs> video, we're going to talk about our high precision altimeter. This brand is a zip level uh, and how we use it and how beneficial it is. Uh, these things are crazy handy. They're about 800 bucks, and you can't run a hardscape company without them, or even a, a general contracting company, because we use these on our stormwater work and they're so handy. So many benefits to these things. The fact that it gives you a digital readout. Here's the, bit, here's the big sell on it. It gives you a digital readout. You can be in feet, inches, decimals, whatever you want. And you can write on a set of plans a benchmark, which would be, in most of our cases, it's going to be the threshold of the main door. This is our zero point. And then everything from there on this project is based off of that. So on this thing, our initial uh, paver height, TOP, top of paver, is going to be negative, uh, what we say, negative 12 inches, three, you know, two six inch steps down, right? And then out there, top of paver height, because it's going to drop four inches over the 16 feet, 2% slope, um, it's going to read negative, uh, what I say, Britt? I said negative 12. Negative 16 is a finished grade out there. So you can write this on a set of plans real easy, and then your guys can just do the math. Nine inch profile, um, you know, from a negative 12 to a negative 21 for your bottom of excavation. And you just put these basic numbers on the plans, and then these guys take this thing and use it. It's crazy handy. So as opposed to like a, tr a laser rod and all that where you got to go, they always got to zero it. And then they've got to run the numbers on the grade rod and all this crap and do the math in their head. And there's tons of room for error there. This does all of that for you. So you you know you find your bench you find where you want it to be a benchmark and a benchmark is something that doesn't change through the whole project or whatever I guess sometimes they do I'm not a civil engineer so bear with me but we'll find we'll do it you'll hit your zero point and you can do this on any of the brand of you know U level smart leveler zip level I'm sure there's other ones I don't know about them though but get it good in the level make sure it's plumb both ways you hit your zero button do you always pick the door generally Perfect. yeah or some fixed point something that is not going to move i try to do it from the point of origin because this gives you nice and easy um you know concept because it starts here and then everything else is in six inch increments uh you know when it comes to steps and stuff like that ideally if you're going to lay it out right so then we can go down so our bottom of excavation down here is what it should be negative 21 negative 21 and a half even and then our top of base, we know just by doing the math, it's got to be negative 15. And so it's going to be close enough for, uh, you know, general right now. But there, negative 15 is our top of base. You could even write a base plan for your guys or whatever. Then when we get out here, we know, okay, top of, top of base is negative 19. And bammo. And so this is what tells you all these things. You can set your wall heights, your wall footings, your wall base layers, all the stuff with these things. And you've got a hundred foot. So we did another YouTube video a while back debating between this and the U-Leveler, the Smart Leveler. And I was really hem-hawing on it. I'd had the U-Level for about a year, 
and I'd had this thing for a couple years, which to Britt's credit, she'd said we should have bought one a long time ago, and I just didn't want to spend the money because I could use my laser good enough or guess it grade good enough. This thing has paid for itself many times over in accuracies, in accuracies on jobs where I, I go out to a homeowner's place. So say this is all grass, I shoot a, a grade there. I go out and I get a native grade reading out here and a native grade reading out there. And I know when I go to draw this thing up, I know exactly what my natives are, native grades. And I can draw a plan up and I'm like, okay, cool. That's going to work out great where we do two, three inch steps or two, six inch steps out. And uh, you know what our pitch is and how that would you know parlay with the existing ground. So it's saved a ton of money and made money on estimates because I'm more accurate than the guy just looking at it and eyeballing it and figuring it out. So um, such a great tool. I, I prefer the zip level. The final verdict is as of now is zip level uh, because the box that it comes in, um, the real case is super durable. I ran my truck over it the first week after having it and it was fine. Um, the only bad thing is if it ever gets where it's out of calibration, which doesn't happen very often, or if you puncture the cord and it'll tell you because it loses pressure, you got to ship to California. But their turnaround's pretty fast and it's you know a couple hundred bucks. But ultimately, it's a tool and tools get broken. It is what it is. But uh, we we have three at the three of these at the company now. But um, they're just super handy. We gave them to all the guys, all the project managers, anyways. And I have one for estimating. So the cord never tangles. The cord never tangles. It's the weirdest thing. You just you can't do anything to get this to tie into a knot. It's an absolute serpent i don't understand what it is but like that will never bind up it's the craziest thing so so thanks for watching if you enjoy this kind of content like and subscribe it encourages us to keep this kind of stuff up it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort so i appreciate uh you know you letting us know any of your feedback and uh, how we can be more beneficial or, or add more value to the hardscape and construction world thanks